Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Everyday Black History. Now today on Everyday Black History, we're going to be highlighting a man by the name of Dr. Jose Celso Barbosa. And he was a Puerto Rican physician, socialist, and political leader. And he is known as the father of the State of the Puerto Rico movement. He was the first Puerto Rican and one of the first persons of African descent to earn a medical degree in the United States. For this little background uh, information on him, he was born in 1857 in the, um, in, in the city of Bayamon, uh, Puerto Rico, to parents of African and European ancestry. And he received both his primary and secondary education in Puerto Rico. He was the first person of multi-ethnic ancestry to attend Puerto Rico's prestigious Jesuit seminary. And after graduating from the seminary, he tutored private students to save money to attend college. By 1875, he was able to move to New York City to attend prep school, where he learned English in a year. Now, initially, he wanted to become a lawyer, but after he got sick with pneumonia, his doctor recommended that he study medicine. So in 1877, he was admitted to the medical school of the University of Michigan, where he graduated as valedictorian for the class of 1880. As mentioned, he was the first Puerto Rico, he was the first uh, person of Puerto Rican, dis excuse me, he was the first person from Puerto Rico to earn a medical degree in the United States. And then he returned to Puerto Rico where he set up a practice in his hometown. Now the Spanish uh, government at the time didn't recognize his medical degree because it didn't come from a, a known uh, European university. But the American council um, that was on the island intervened on his behalf uh, to have his United States degree recognized so that he can practice on the island of Puerto Rico. Um, he provided medical care all over the island, and he introduced the, the uh, idea of an of a, a early health care system where employers uh, would pay a fee for the future health care needs of their employees. So he actually came up with the first early empl um, uh, employee health insurance uh, system that we know of today. And in 1893, he founded the first Puerto Rican uh, cooperative and named it uh, El Ahorro Colectivo. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that correctly. I know I don't have the proper you know, Spanish accent. But uh, uh, he also had a political career as well. Uh, he was a member of the uh, Autonomous Party that was led by Ramon Castro, who is a, a well-known Puerto, Puerto Rican uh, abolitionist. And, uh, but he left that party because of ideological differences. But um, during the Spanish-American uh, Spanish War in 1898, um, uh, he, Barbosa showed um, some bravery. Uh, some doctors, uh, him and some other doctors, uh, they traveled to different towns while they were uh, doing their medical practice on the island. And uh, as a member of the Red Cross, he went to uh, aid wounded Puerto Rican and uh, Spanish soldiers during the Spanish-American War. And uh, him and the other doctors, while on the ferry to travel across the, the San Juan Bay, even though it was at high risk, they still uh, traveled over there to help in, in any way that they can, under heavy, uh, under heavy cannon fire. Uh, Barbosa and those who were with him uh, were recommended by the Spanish government for the Cross of the Order of Naval Merit for their bravery, being that they put themselves in known danger to go out there and help the Puerto Rican and Spanish soldiers during this war. Um, and as a result of the war, um, Puerto Rico became a territory of the United States. And on July 4th, 1899, uh, Barbosa formed the pro-statehood Puerto Rican Republican Party. And as we mentioned, he was, he's known as the, he became known then and to this day as the father for the statehood for Puerto Rico movement. Um, his later years, uh, he uh, was elected um, by President William McKinney and on June 5, 1900, with uh, other uh, uh, um, notable uh, men of Latin descent, and, uh, as well as other uh, American members, to be part of the executive cabinet um, under U.S. appointed Governor Charles H. Allen. And uh, he's the first civilian governor of the island. And um, Barbosa, Barbosa served on the executive cabinet until 
1917, he dealt with a variety of governors that was appointed by the U.S. during that period and provided uh, continuity in the administration. He also founded a newspaper, El Tiempo, in 1907, which is the first bilingual newspaper that's, that was published on the island. Um, he uh, also uh, ran um, as a representative. Um, in 1917, uh, he ran for an at-large seat, and he was elected serving as a member of the first Puerto Rican Senate from 1917 to 1921. He died in San Juan on September 21, 1921, and he's buried at the Santa Maria uh, Cemetery in Old San Juan. But um, he's, his legacy lives on on the island of Puerto Rico. I mean, his birthday, July 27th, is a national holiday. Um, the, uh, the, he has post offices and schools that are named after him. And his house um, is even a historic museum where all his awards, certificates, his books, and other artifacts of interest are on, are on exhibit. Uh, on, or it's, or it's an exhibition for all to see and to uh, see all that he contributed to the island of Puerto Rico. So there's a lot more information about him if you're ever curious to look it up. But um, Dr. Bob, Dr. Barbosa, uh, we thank you for your contribution to black history and black culture, and we salute you. And that concludes this episode of Everyday Black History. Um, please tune in again as we'll continue to highlight um, black men, women of the whole Af African diaspora on their notable achievements and accomplishments and how it changed our lives um, forever. So stay tuned for the next episode.